Hi, I'm Adam Hall, the Technical Marketing Manager of Signature Solar here in Silver Springs, Texas. Today, we are here to demonstrate how the EG4 LL batteries communicate seamlessly with the Victron Quattro 15K inverter. Now in this setup, we're powering it with six EG4 LL batteries, which are all paralleled using the EG4 cabinet. These leads are coming off of the cabinet and going to two bus bars on the back of this little panel here. Our positive leads are coming off into two 200 amp breakers and all leads are being fed into the DC inputs of the inverter charger. Now the Victron Quattro is connected first to the auto transformer there at the bottom and then run up to our load center that's on the very far side where we are powering the lights and doing our load tests and all the other loads that we're pulling in this testing rig. Now last but certainly not least is the Victron Servo GX. This is our brain of the operation. It is connected by ethernet cable to the inverter and by modified ethernet cable to the BMS of the host battery. It also has a connection going to the GX touch and DC power cables that come off of the unit and attach to the negative and the positive bus bars to supply power for the unit. This thing is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capable and is gonna make sure everything in this stack can see each other. All right, first, to make sure that the battery communications are correct, we need to make sure that all of our dip switches are down and we power cycle the battery by turning it off. This is just turning the BMS off and turning it back on again. Once we've done that and it's completed its startup boot, we hold the back button down for five seconds. After that five seconds, we release. It's gonna give us RS-45 and CAN protocol settings. We're gonna go down to CAN and hit enter. We wanna make sure that we are on P05-VCT. That's the Victron communication protocol. Hit enter and then power cycle the battery again. Once we power cycled, that's what saves physically that setting into this BMS. Now we have to change our communications back on our dip switch to down, 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 up. Power cycle one more time. And we should now be communicating with the Serbo GX on the other side of the station. To confirm that the EG4s are being seen by the Serbo correctly, you can either use the GX Touch 50 or the Victron Connect app. Here, we see the Victron Connect app. We can see that our batteries are discharging, that the inverter is inverting, and running the house lights that we're using to shoot this video is pulling just under 600 watts of power. If you look down in the left-hand corner of the screen, you're gonna see an EG4 label. That's showing that the servo does indeed see that the EG4 batteries are hooked up and they are communicating. You can see their voltage, current amperage, and wattage, and that it's discharging all on one screen. Now currently we're running about 600 watts just to run the lights that we have going on this video. We're gonna pull a bit more load to test this system using this 240 volt dryer and this 120 volt fan. We're gonna do that now. You may see the lights flicker. That's gonna be normal when we just start this thing up. Now, we're probably pulling somewhere in the neighborhood of 6,000 watts. When we start our load test, it's going to peak just over 6,000 watts and come back to rest at about 5,800 watts. So we're just barely pulling over a third of what this inverter is capable of with the EG4 batteries and the inverter with these three loads. Until next time, my name's Adam, we'll see you around.